Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly productivity news segment, a brand new segment covering software and all of the updates that you need to know. So first up in the news is Things 3. Now essentially it's Things 3.5 now. Cultured Code, the company behind Things 3, have released what they call a spit and polish update to their macOS and iOS versions. There have been 29 new features and tweaks that they've made to the existing iOS and Mac applications, including performance, bug, user feedback, and tagging adaptions. One of the biggest elements is the brand new collapsible areas. This is one of the most requested features, allowing users to essentially collapse an area where they have projects within them. There are a whole host of additional things in Things 3.5, including paste and copy from other applications, Things 3 new URL scheme, the Today widget, performance speed updates, Zapier integrations, and a few tweaks to the logbook headers and other minor tweaks. The application is going strength to strength, and 3.5 seems like the most stable version yet. Next up on this weekly news, we have Todoist. Todoist are on the brink of releasing a brand new Todoist scheduler. Now, Alex from Todoist tweeted, the new Todoist scheduler on mobile will be the next level with a love part emoji face. Now, we all know Todoist already has a scheduling function called Smart Schedule, but this is something totally different. This little hint is essentially a new world of scheduling inside of Todoist. And let's dive into a few of the things that Alex has been mentioning in the comments. So in reply to Jill Duffy, one of the team at PC World, he said, Smart Schedule is one of the options of the scheduler, yes, but we're working on a complete redesign of the scheduler interface, not particularly focusing on Smart Schedule. Now this is super interesting in terms of news with Todoist. They haven't really had a huge amount of updates in the last year or so, and Smart Schedule came out in November 2016. Now since then, Alex has been tweeting a couple more things. I'm no developer, so I don't know the status of this. But Todoist will be releasing the new scheduler feature very soon. Next up on news is Google Tasks. So many of you may have heard Gmail is getting a big redesign. Now Gmail hasn't been redesigned in a fair while. And well, of course that's another story in itself. There are so many hints inside of this Gmail redesign about Google Tasks. Now there have been a few leaks in terms of Google Tasks being available, but some of the screenshots have come out. Although directly not mentioning, we now know the logo, the concept behind it, and a few of the mentions of how it will work. Google are keeping this under wraps for now, but it will essentially take over the likes of maybe even Google Keep in the future. But for now, it will replace G-Tasks as the main task management function. And finally here on Productivity News, we have Drafts 5, a brand new application that succeeds Drafts 4. It's a new look in terms of the appearance, themes, iconography, and even the editor design as well. They've got some new organization options with tags, lists, and queries, and even a new focused modes. They've also added Siri integration, as well as a universal subscription called Drafts Pro, which is $20 per year. Pretty reasonable. Now, Drafts 5 is a massive update in the ecosystem. So I'm gonna pass over to Mac Stories. They have created a full review of Drafts 5 in the description below, which is a really insightful piece. So hopefully that will give you as much detail to the brand new Drafts 5. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments what you thought of this one. If you're viewing on Facebook or any other platform, it'd be great to have your feedback. So let us know in the comments whether this nice software news update was end of any use to you. Hopefully it gives you a bit of a roundup of what's happening in the software space. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.